Welcome guys in this channel In this video I am going to work on a complete house project I hope you enjoy in this lesson And let's start Type U and Enter to turn the unit What you want Ok uh, And now go I have already a uh, cut drawing And then I will insert this and now I need to give it a scale so as you know the door uh, will be 90 centimeter so I'm going to give the scale from here click here and uh, click in this point the second point and now type uh, how much is this 90 centimeter now I change it the scale and this is the real dimension uh, that I have so let's check I'm going to move it this in center and make it pin in here and And now you can select there so now let's check yeah 90 centimeter so let's check to the horizontal now door has almost 19 yeah It's 19. This is how we give the skill when we insert the cut file. So let's check the wall width. Mm, 13 centimeter. So go to architect and select wall, and I'm going to choose a wall from here maybe generic yeah this one and now uh, from here to duplicate the wall and give it the name I'm gonna mm, give it exterior wall okay and now from here setting thickness for 13 centimeter and change the material click in here and create new material i'm gonna create a new material by myself and then right click rename and add x exterior wall and check this box and then the appearance click here and then click from here and now I'm going to choose the material for my wall mm, maybe exterior this one or yeah apply and okay So now I'm going to start from here. And As you can see, I choose the center line by and now uh, go to the elevation and select the, the high of the wall and this project uh, this is uh, 4 meter so I'm choose it 4 
and now I'm going to create the uh, for second floor on uh, another level and just click in here oops uh, click uh, yeah now 8 meter Okay, this is the exterior wall. And now I'm going to uh, draw a line in here for parking area. If you have a real project you have to work very careful so now I'm going to draw a column and then select column and then from here duplicate and give the name in this case my column is 3 30 by 30 okay as you can see they are 30 by 30 okay and one in here mm, maybe in here and then I want to make the copy now continue like that after finish the column and now this is the time to create the floor so select floor and from here floor and going to duplicate and just give it a name floor for living room yeah I did the material and thickness uh, maybe 15 centimeter okay okay And now how to create using line or uh, rectangular it's up to you I'm going to use line create the uh, floor for different area by different name because uh, this is different uh, later I I will choose the different material for uh, living room and for bedroom or maybe toilet this is the different material so that's why I am creating a different name and different uh, material okay uh, this is the floor for the living room so now for the kitchen and later we will uh, I will change the material again come here duplicate um, kitchen okay again 
I'm going to use line uh, start from here that finish yeah so try to not uh, put a gap inside this two floor then okay that's the floor for the kitchen as you can see you can create it says you can continue and create for the all as you can see this is the different how we create the floor if you learn how one of them how to create and then the second you can easily create the floor so after I created a floor for all of them now I'm going to choose the material for each one one by one so the method is the same just follow if you know one of them you can change uh, for all of the floor the material so just uh, be careful the for one of them copy and from here material flooring because this is a floor I have to choose some material from flooring or maybe stone mm, yeah because it's outside apply and okay this is how we create floor the same as I created for the outside it's the same method um, try to give for everyone different name and create a material check this box and then when you can copy in here and then click another for material material for kitchen you can see this is for kitchen and the tile is so looks so small no, it's okay for the living room again create new material rename check this box and then copy this and select material from here maybe like this wood yeah let's continue like that it's so easy and this part I'm going to create floor for the second floor uh, as you can see this is how we create in the first part floor for the first floor it's the same method uh, that uh, we create uh, for the second floor go to floor and then choose the floor from here for the bedroom for the kitchen like that so now I'm using line uh, 
and it's uh, easy you can continue as you see in the video so now I need to create a roof in here go to level 2 and I'm using the as floor and I'm going to duplicate have a balcony balcony From here again create new material right click rename balcony and then check the box and then copy and then select from here new material apply and okay 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 so now I'm using again uh, line uh, this is the floor for the balcony now we need in here a wall and then I'm going to use exterior wall and from here So now I'm going to give it a high for the wall because I need in here maybe 50 centimeter uh, let's look how yeah Uh, because I need to railing in here too, I think that's uh, enough 50 centimeters. Uh, I think it's better to change the floor because it's not uh, go out. Uh, I edited the floor so now let's look how, yeah I think like this is better so now again uh, select the wall and then base offset give it minus to go down 15 centimeter yeah 
now it looks perfect so I need the pull again go up so select the pull and then change the high mm, top offset it's a base offset from zero zero to level two and then I am going to top give it uh, 180 top offset So now go to the architecture and railing. And then from here choose maybe railing pipe or rectangular. I'm going to choose pipe. Start from center. And fix it in the center now. Mm, just little different. Okay. So let's look. Yeah, this is the railing. And now give it offset from here. Mm. Now set up the rail. And you can change what kind of railing you like. From here, you can give it the high of the railing, change the high, maybe 80 centimeter. Mm. Apply, and then and that's the type rectangular. From here, you can change the material, and again, I'm going to create new material for that. Uh, railing check the box and copy and then from here select the material so now from here the metal of course and 
from here aluminium cast which one you like so I'm going to use cotton wall and create a window maybe 2 meter yeah. and then and you have to be you have to make sure yourself that it must be check so now let's go to 3d how it look like from here now you can base pan one meter on the top and connect it maybe one twenty yeah and let's go to the south elevation and create a curtain wall segment one fifty maybe fifty and Fifty. And now, uh, the copy. you can choose million one it's a uh, 30 by 30 and the thickness is also 10 centimeter size 20 uh, from here take 16 aluminium and then 20 by 20 and then uh, okay let's look how it look like yeah Let's change the material for this. okay this is the window so now just copy and paste where you need now copy make it copy to clipboard and bring to the second floor and from here paste so now choose where you need okay now move it
if you can see this how to change just follow this sometime you need to uh, height or unheight the first floor element yeah unlimited 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 apply okay so now you do you can see the first floor element like uh, window door so now I'm going to insert door uh, from here select a door residential and maybe this one or this one is open and now this is the size what size you want this is the type size weight and height I'm going to choose uh, 90 by 200 This door is 2 meter high and 90 centimeter width. Now uh, this is the uh, toilet. I need a small one. Mm, maybe this one. And then maybe. This one, I think the so let's go to level two, install door for level two also. The same method. Once you uh, import uh, any element from the family, you you have it in here. No need to go back again and load from family. This is how we uh, insert the door and create the window. Okay, and now I'm going to create roof. Um, rectangular from here offset. 70 centimeter So now I'm going to select this. Uh, I'm going to remove slope in this two side, and then from here, uh, go to the edit for thickness. Uh, maybe ten centimeter, and for the material. I'm going to choose no 
open, maybe inside. That was open. Yeah, Spanish style. Lion, okay. 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 So this is the roof and now I'm going to set up as a level two I'm going to remove it level three and let's go to the this view and now the slope is high I'm going to change it You can change from here also, as you can see, if you give it for yourself, maybe 5 inch. Let's see how it looks like. And then there is the gap, you have to fill this gap and how select the wall and then attach to top face yeah. it's so easy just select the wall and then attach top face okay and there is need to face here mm, from go to family uh, from here uh, metric profile open and now Select line. Okay, and now save it. Uh, row face here. Just make one copy. Save. And now load to project. And from here go to roof, roof face here. And then edit type and then make it duplicate. From here. Face here for roof. Okay. Here, as you can see, there is row face here. And from here, you, you can change the material. Okay. And now, I'm going to so then here look this side of course thanks for watching and this is how in this tutorial we create window and start door and create a roof and create a roof face here so I need to go to component model and then from here general model yeah 
and now I'm going to create a, an extrusion in here so first I'm going to set that pick fine work plane and then let's go the south elevation and select fall now trim and extend okay it's uh, an extrusion and now from here uh, go to the material and select a material for that and I'm going to ex because it's outside I give it exterior wall that I already created so now look how it look like see this is how I created this part now go to level 2 with the roof and now I'm going to create a roof in here uh, for here maybe I'm going to uncheck the slope and as you know from here it's okay 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 This is a base point. Okay. This is how I created this roof in for here. So now I'm going to adjust. Maybe base offset three five. Let's look how much is that? Uh, three meter fifty one. Uh, let's edit the boundary. Uh, now I'm going to change this to. maybe here yeah and of course this part also okay let's look Check again. Yeah, you can see it's the same distance. Uh, let's uh, make bring in here and now go to the roof and roof from here I'm going to create a white extrusion uh, select work plan and then and here I'm going to use a line because I'm going to cut uh, the wall in here that's
Uh, sorry, I'm going to cut the roof. Okay. Okay, and now go to the rest version. Then cut from here to there. Yeah. It's like oops, there is thin. Oh, that's the face, yeah. I cut it the roof, but the fish is still there. Roof fish here is still there. So it's okay. I'm going to delete and later I will. Yeah. And now I bring insert again later. And previous uh, tutorial I already created that. And now just again insert here. Okay, I finished. And now extend this to the top. And as you can see, there is a gap. Uh, you have to fill it. So now Uh, in the extrusion, maybe I deleted this. Okay. Uh, see how I fill that. Again, go to the roof. And then from here on white extrusion again. Uh, from here to here. This is uh, for the inside the house. I have to cut inside the house. Uh, the roof uh, must not go the inside. So that's why I use white extrusion to cut this part of uh, roof I'll cut from here to here yeah if you have a problem with the cutting yeah uh, using white extrusion there is already uh, on tutorial about uh, how to work with white extrusion and this channel you can find that through uh, the uh, to the uh, through the repeat tutorial uh, in this part this side as well you have to cut uh, the roof Okay, from here cut here, yes, oops, there is a little gap, uh, let's see how slow how I make it like this, yeah, okay, so now for again, Uh, roof okay 
and then again uh, white extrusion uh, select work plan this and now using line okay and from here choose the extrusion int where again I am going to mention you if you have problem with using white extrusion there is a tutorial and uh, this channel go to the channel and open the playlist uh, it's uh, inside the playlist revert tutorial there is two different uh, tutorial with for the white extrusion so now I fix it this see how it look like I'm going to cut this from here cut this part yeah see how I cut it uh, this part because that's uh, inside the house okay okay so there is still open the roof is like this now okay let's uh, touch to the top this part of all and that part as well yeah mm. this side also You can drag and drop, and also you can use the tools attached top base. Uh, okay, if it's not work, you can edit uh, from here. Just delete this and using line. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, now uh, I'm going to change the top offset in here. All the column go to architecture model in place casework ok I'm going to create the cap like you see that and using select the work plan Okay, and now I did Yeah I come in this solution to create the same as the another sieve already I created yeah. 
and then close okay uh, from here this the material for that I use it the extruder all the same color and this is how I created uh, a cup for the color so now you can copy and paste for the rest of them I cut it because I already had that and inserted that and now just I created one new for you guys okay let's bring some changes in here mm. Let's see how it is, 8.15, maybe change it to 50, how much is this distance? It's up to you how you decor your your house. As you can see, this the no, just copy and paste. Minus two one fifty. Oops, let's go up. Uh, let's again change minus apply yeah again copy oops why is go up it's okay give minus and apply let's go up down okay yeah okay so now I'm going to break from here the column mm. from here as well mm. this two column as well and this one too so now I'm going to change this maybe all I I just changed it. I cut it because I changed the color. Oh. And now you can use match properties. As you can see, there is a color of the roof. I'm going to change that. So for that, I first I'm going to copy. Uh, copy to the the third floor now I have to copy of the roof and now I'm going to change the one of them so from here this I'm going to change the thickness of course and from here I'm going to change the material I'm using the material so now as you can see now there is yeah first I make it copy and change it the color so uh, now from here I'm going to cut this part 
again uh, using white extrusion go to the roof okay okay white extrusion then set the work plan okay I'm going to cut this part yeah and then using lines tool okay mm, let's bring it right okay so now cut uh, from this part this one finish as you can see there is not but there is the little line um, oops it's okay just go to make edit edit boundary and let's go up and this down uh, okay yeah now that's fine mm, still there is later okay okay now I'm going to create for this part 2 yes. again copy paste this to third floor oh. and now I'm going to duplicate them from here change the thickness and the material okay as you can see this change the white and from here bring down okay as you can see it's changed it to white now again I uh, have to cut that part that uh, is inside inside the okay and now let's see yeah now let's change it so let's yeah now let's do for this as well so copy paste and now from here duplicate this and of course change the thickness and the material okay okay and now from here bring down mm. Let's see the base offset 350. Yeah, and now this is uh, bring uh, 
five. Yeah. See, as almost under. So now again, I need to cut some part because I don't need that. So this part again using go to roof, okay, okay, and white extrusion. If you have any problem with using white extrusion, you can uh, op see in the first comment the below of this tutorial, and also you can find. Uh, inside the Revit tutorial and this channel I will comment on the first comment and uh, this tutorial yeah. you can find the link and the comment okay and now from here cut this part okay uh, let's see and now let's do the same for this part as well Now let's check. Oops, there is a still there is little. Mm, that's okay. Now select this. Again, select this. Let's select like this. Edit boundary, and then the extrusion, then extend. Okay. And now there is not any. Part. Oh, still there is I did extrusion. Okay, now it's fine. okay and now I'm going to edit this part um, using pick line maybe see how much is it for 40 centimeter and then make it 40 centimeter so now draw a line uh, how much is it Fifty. 
So now it ram and extend. I just changed this ship because like this. Okay. It's look uh, better than before. Okay. Again, go to the wall. And I'm going to create uh, sweep pick path Okay, take it copy and the material is of course as wall. See how I create it. I'm going to create it uh, two times because it's unconnected and leave it if the it's not. Uh, if it's not joined, we can create this the same time because there was a door it was cutting so I created it in several times and of course you have to make sure that's all connected together and now it's so easy for the how if make it like this mm, or like this which is better maybe like this is better okay and now we can change this Make it edit. Yeah. Okay, it was cheap. And now I'm going to create it for window. There is some par missing part that I uh, now I again work on it. So actually, it's better to we work step by step from the first. If we work on the window, we have to complete all the the part. So sorry, I forgot it that. Now I'm going to create a peak in here. And using from the roof, of course, and check the uh, slope. Also, you can use uh, the peak as the floor, but using floor, it's up to you. Now, if you created one now, make it copy for the rest of window. Okay. 
let's see how it look like no. now of course I need to roof this here for the pick the color is as well as wall I using the same face here for the pick too so it looks better to use the same okay and now go to the level one from architecture wall it's a basic wall and then I'm going to edit this uh, decoring wall the thickness is 50 now I'm going to change that two centimeter and from here I'm going to change the material this is the material for that create how to create uh, you know that I choose it already from here this one small rectangular stone no, small yarn one stone, yeah, this one. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to cut it in here. Uh, small wall. Let's choose uh, finish this. Yeah, up to here. Okay. And then let's go to 3D, how it look like, yeah, like this. Mm. If we change it to realistic, it's like that. So, now let's bring it up. see how much is it one meter so now okay just give it one meter yeah And now create one more for the second floor. Let's zoom it. up to here uh, 
Uh, let's turn the yeah. This is how I created this. And now let's create the the yard. So now, again, let's go to level one. Thickness ten centimeter. Now I'm going to create a, a floor like uh, grass. Yeah. So let's start from ceiling. Ceiling for level one, and then this the material I'm going to delete and have one material. So the material I'm going to change, create new material, rename for ceiling, copy. Cool white. Okay, okay. So now this is the height of the ceiling. So now automatic. I use an automatic. So let's see how it look like. See. Now I'm going to delete in this area because there is I have a stair. So now I'm going to join this wall part. Just use trim and extend. Here as well. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. So for level two, again the same. Now just trim and extend and make it clean. This is the high 350. 
Let's see. Yeah. Now this is the ceiling for the second floor. Okay. Let's see how it look like. Okay, and now in here, and the toilet. Now I'm going to create stair from here. It's the deep and from here you can choose none okay Let's start from here maybe how many rise in here uh, 11 or 12 there is 12 and 12 mm -hmm. so 13 rise in the first and 12 is for the next one and you can change from here only one fifteen the width the height of the stair of course it's the same apply let's see how it look like okay now I'm going to create a, a ceiling for the toilet and I'm going to use the option the roof so now you can see why I'm going to use roof as ceiling let's delete this slope and this one as uh, well this one as well only this one I using this because uh, uh, I using roof as uh, ceiling because there is under the stair and I need to slope for that so it's easy to use uh, roof as ceiling I'm not going to change the material and then okay so let's go to 3d you see oh, this is the as in here as you can see I created this and now from here adjust 178 yeah and make it the slope is later 35 8 yeah now it's fix it So maybe a little more. One seventy, yeah. And now this is the wall, and I am going to extend the wall to the top. Attach to here. 
this. This is how I created a uh, roof or ceiling for the toilet. Okay, and now, and this part I'm going to insert some furniture, and this is the last, uh, the last part of this tutorial. So. First, I insert the refrigerator in the kitchen. Okay, let's see the first floor. Let's see how it look. Yeah, the front is in in here, and now. Let's rotate. And replace it, of course. Okay, this the color is black. Again, load from family. This it's so easy and you can insert and to see Okay, it's uh, not difficult and of course you know how to insert some furniture and set up and where you need. If you think it's the video is fast, you can, from the playback, you can make it slow and watch it carefully. This is the end of uh, this project.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next project.